All right, here we go, guys. Christmas celebration part two on global is officially here. So without further ado, let's pop into the news and see what's going on. See if they have any kind of special surprises for us global players this time around. I mean, I kind of doubt it, but you never know. You never know. Okay, here we go. Snowy Miracle Merry Christmas Campaign Part 2 is on. Various Christmas events are here. Come obtain awesome rewards including Dragon Stones, Christmas Candy Cane, and the new Kid Gohan Santa. On top of that, Gogeta and Vegito, who can both be Token Awakened into LR, will be available for summons again in the Merry Christmas Dokkan Festival. Don't miss out on the legendary featured characters. So of course, this is the um, Tenabata banner from JP a couple months ago. And it's going to feature the LR Blue Fusions, the LR Blue Boys, as well as most likely the LR Gobros and a bunch of other, you know, Dokkan Fest units. And uh, in addition, don't miss out on other events including a new challenge event, new stages of Super Battle Road, and the 35th World Tournament. Okay, so those are all great. I like that. But I was really hoping to see new Extreme Z Battle, honestly, like... I was praying that maybe they would just drop Kid Buu or like Mass Saiyan out of nowhere on us. It would have been nice. It was a long shot, but uh, I was really hoping, man. I was really hoping. But you know what? It's okay. I'm sure for, you know, the New Year celebration in a couple weeks, we'll definitely get a new Extreme Z battle. I mean, if we get LR Jiren for New Year's, then we'll definitely get the Dispo and Topo, right? And... Otherwise, it's probably going to be Kid Buu. So, yeah, even though it sucks we don't have one now, soon enough. Soon enough. Okay, so I guess that's it. Let's uh, see what these events are all about. We got the special missions for part two, a new Dragonstone sale, and there is the Christmas slash Tanabata banner. Now, if you guys are a little bit conflicted, a little bit unsure about what you want to do with your stones as far as this banner is concerned, like you don't know if you should be summoning, then make sure to go watch my video from earlier today where I do a full breakdown of this banner and also talk about why maybe you want to save your stones for something else that's coming up in the near future that is most likely going to be much better for you than this banner. I mean, this banner is... It's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, as far as traps are concerned, it's a pretty good trap, right? But yeah, now go watch the video. There will be some good reasons for why you might want to hold on to your stones for a little bit longer. Anyways, it says, uh, yeah, Merry Christmas, Dokkan Festival is on, there are the Blue Fusions, there's the Blue Boys. Uh, super multi-summon discounts, that's interesting. That's interesting. Did we have discounts on the Christmas banner last year? I don't remember, man. I mean, as far as I can rem remember, we only had full price multis, but maybe there were some discounts. Maybe there were some discounts. Um, I'll have to go back and see. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments down below if you guys remember Like if there were discounts, what kind of discounts did we have? Like was it just like a 30 stone multi and then regular price the rest of the way? Or was it like 3 plus 1 or something like that? I mean, I feel like if it was 3 plus 1 I would have remembered, you know, but apparently we're getting some kind of discount this year um, Like I said, I don't remember if it's like a regular thing. I don't think so. It could be but some kind of discount some kind of discount. They're making this trap very tempting, not gonna lie. But I'm gonna stay strong. I'm not gonna be summoning, but it's your call, of course. So the discounts goes from the 24th, which is today, until the 29th. And then we have the, you know, actual, you know, just regular banner from the 24th to the 3rd. And we also have the ticket summon as well as the premium ticket summon. Now these tickets will be available through these packs right here, the Christmas surprise packs through the Pilafs Trove. Okay, hopefully they're good deals. If I remember correctly, last year, um, the value was pretty solid. It was like cheaper to actually buy the tickets in the Pilafs Trove to summon as opposed to, you know, buying stone packs. So if you guys are gonna be summoning, I do recommend, like if you are pay to play, of course, to uh, buy the packs instead of spending your stones. Um, okay, from there we have the Extreme Z area for the Prime Battle LR Super Saiyan Goku. Whoa! Is it available now? Hold on, hold on. Oh, it's out now. It's out now, oh my God. Okay, um, <laughs> I might have to stream this immediately, man. Right after this video, I might have to go into, go into streaming mode. I don't know. Um, I, I was thinking it was gonna be at reset, but 
it, it dropped earlier than normal. Okay, wow. All right, so uh, Prime Battle. Yeah, Goku. Extremes the Awakening. It's here. Like, that actually is a bit of a surprise. I mean, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I just didn't know it was going to be coming this early. Wow. Uh, let's go back to the campaign here and get back on track. So we have the Extreme Z area. We have the 2000 day celebration, which actually starts today because 2000 days is actually on Christmas. And I'm not really sure what comes with that, but apparently that's happening. We have 10 new Super Battle Road stages. It's, uh, I'm trying to remember the numbers, 31 to 40. Yeah, 31 to 40, 10 new category stages. And uh, once you, you know, clear some missions, you can also get a new Super Battle Road LR, the Tech LR Goku and Gohan. And uh, we'll be streaming that. This does come out tonight in a couple hours. So I'll be streaming that for sure. Um, if you guys are not too busy, you're not spending too much time with your family or you know, having dinner or sleeping or whatever, then make sure to tune in. It should be a pretty good time. And we also have the uh, Dokkan events, all the Dokkan events available every single day until the 3rd. We have a couple of story events here returning. And we also have the Genius Bulma's Battle Prep, of course, because we have a new world tournament starting on the 31st or the 1st, depending on your time zone. So uh, yeah, great way to start the year, guys. World tournament, everybody's favorite event. Can't wait to be grinding world tournament on January 1st. Awesome. We have the World Tournament Support Packs, we have the World Tournament Banners, as well as a couple of the, uh, you know, DB Saga story events coming back, which is, you know, always the case for World Tournaments. So, I guess that's it. That looks like all of Part 2. A little bit lacking, in my opinion. I think they could have given us a little bit more stuff, maybe just like one more event, Extreme Z Battle, would have been great, but it is what it is. And, oh, here is the 2000 Day Campaign. Um, ooh. Okay, so to celebrate 2000 days, we get 20 Dragon Stones, 5 Kid Gohan Santas, 5 Platinum Turtle Shells, and also a Diamond Hercule statue. Damn, that's awesome. That's dope. I mean, like, like it, it's not like new events or anything. I was hoping we'd get like some events to come with that, but I mean, I'll take the free rewards, man. Those are some pretty. Pretty decent rewards. I mean, why 20 Dragon Stones though? Why not like 2,000? You know, it's 2,000 days. So, <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Uh, 20 Stones is nice. 20 Stones is nice. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, the missions. Are we getting any tickets through missions? I don't think we. Uh, maybe we did. Did we get tickets for missions last year? I'm not really sure, but it looks like we are not getting tickets. Through oh, hold on. Actually, no, there are. These are the part two missions. I don't see any tickets though. So I guess tickets weren't a thing. All right, so no tickets for missions, unless I'm blind, maybe I missed it, but I didn't see them. And uh, what else? Oh, we got the extreme challenge campaign. And these are just, you know, the details for like what you need to take on the extreme Z battle. If you guys missed my video going over the guide or my guide video going over the whole campaign, uh, feel free to go check it out. I'll put a link probably somewhere above my head as well. And that's it, guys. That is part two of the Christmas campaign. It's it's fine. It's fine. Nothing special. Nothing crazy. Could have been better. Could have been worse. I'll accept it. Hopefully, New Year's is it's really good. I mean, we at least got that one great banner on the way for sure. So uh, look forward to that. And that's it, guys. That is today's video. I'm going to go get my stream ready, I guess. Man, I didn't even know it was out already the, the extreme z area that's crazy let me let me just check let me just check to be 100 percent sure it's like I don't, I don't really believe it right now i don't really believe it. okay there it is all right wait clear all stages on all difficult wait what i didn't clear all the what is that I, I swear i did though i swear i fully completed okay well you know what i'll worry about that later I'll worry about that later. Let's uh, end the video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are excited for Christmas. If you don't celebrate it, then that's fine. Just have a great day and uh, happy early new year, I guess. And as always, if you guys like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. 
to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.